Is plant structure built for survival? Well, let's cover some things first. We got the internal and external structure of plants and animals, right? External structure, that's the parts on the outside of a body or structure, right? So this bird, he got his wings. That's that's the part of its external structure. Internal structure are the parts inside of a body or structure. And so this cow on the inside has got its organs, intestine, the stomach with multiple chambers, whoa. We got internal and external structure. Now these parts of the structure help the animal or plant grow, survive, and reproduce. Let's get in on the plants, y'all! Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be talking about plants, but we want to give a special shout out to one of the one of the parts of the structure that just plays a, a, a just a powerful role in the plant. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you the plant stems. <laughs> So I have a celery right here, which is a plant, and I got this arrow, it's pointing at the stem of the celery. And so the stem of a plant is strong, and it needs to be, because you know what it does? The stem supports the plant to help elevation. What? That means it, it, it helps keep the plant upright, which is especially important for when some of those plants are like trying to reach up high so they can get some sunlight. It needs to be standing upright. That's what the plant stem does. Mr. and Miss Stem, you're strong and you help support the plant. I mean, isn't that just like a parent? Come on, give it up for the stem. But wait, there's more. The stem does more than that, ladies and gentlemen. Hold up, plants have tissue inside stems that transport water. Rewind that back, they wasn't ready. Plants have tissue inside stems that transport water. Let me break that down for you. As you may know already, Plants, you know, they get a lot of the water from underground, where the roots are. But you know what's not wonderful is that up here, they also want some water, okay? We can't hog all the water down below. And so this guy up here is like, hey, yo, I need some of that H2O. I'm getting dehydrated up here. And you know what they do? They Down at the bottom, they're like, ah, I don't know how to help you. Oh, wait, yes I do. Yo, send it on up in the tissue. So the tissue is actually called the xylem. It's a fancy word. Um, you don't need to know it now, but I mean, hey, why not? It's called the xylem. X-Y-L-E-M. Yeah, let's get it. So the xylem transports the water up through the stem. I mean, come on. If you aren't blown away by the stem, I, I just don't know what's going to do it for you. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the stem. <laughs> So as I mentioned before, or I think I did, this plant right here specifically, that's a celery. It just so happens that I have some celery with me right now. And when I say it just so happens, I mean I went to the store on purpose to buy it so that I can do this. I wanna test out how this water transports between or through the stem. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this stem on the bottom because I want like the, the the inside, the internal parts of the plant, I want it to be exposed so that the water can transport through the inside. This is all water, right? And I'm just gonna add some food coloring in all of these. Still water, just add a little bit of color into it now. But you know what the celery is gonna do? Well, I mean, what's it supposed to do? Remember that top part is like, hey, I want some water, I'm thirsty. So what do you think is gonna happen when I place this celery inside each of these colored waters? 